What's up, guys? Derek, more plates, more dates.com. Today, we're going to be talking about does finasteride lower testosterone levels? So, very common misconception about finasteride, Propecia, Proscar is that because one of the side effects that occurs in a minority of individuals is hindered libido, that it's lowering testosterone. And it's actually quite the opposite. So I just want to make this video to kind of elaborate on the science of what actually happens. I've actually done an article on this, but the topic it's under isn't it dr titled this. It's about something totally different. So it would probably get overlooked if you were looking for this in particular. So basically, when you take finasteride, there are a few steps that unfold in the body. And I'm just going to break them down for you really quick. So First thing that happens, finasteride inhibits five the enzyme 5 alpha reductase. So this is the enzyme that regulates the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, which I'm sure I, I would hope you know if you take this drug or you're planning on taking it, that DHT is the byproduct of testosterone. It's another hormone and it's more androgenic, hence why it has the ability to miniaturize your hair follicles so horrendously the more androgenic a hormone is the more havoc it can wreak on your hairline pretty much because it has more of a affinity to miniaturize these hair follicles so basically dht it's a far more potent androgen than testosterone and when it binds to the hair follicle it causes severe miniaturization of these follicles which is the primary mechanism by which you lose your hair or progress your androgenic alopecia. So basically what you're trying to do with the finasteride in the first place is inhibit the conversion of testosterone to DHT with the drug. Like this is the point of using the drug in the first place is you, you know, 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. So the enzyme that converts testosterone to DHT, you're inhibiting it from converting it so when you're not converting as much of testosterone into dht you have this testosterone that's trying to convert but it's not able to the enzymes blocked so what happens this testosterone stays as testosterone because it hasn't been it has no pathway to convert to dht so what you're left with is more testosterone than you had prior so well, that's not exactly how it works. Basically, it's it's an indirect increase in testosterone via less of it being able to convert to DHT. So basically, without finasteride, you have a certain amount of testosterone, you have a certain conversion rate to DHT, you have a certain amount of DHT in your system. When you block this conversion to DHT, what you're basically doing is causing a backlog where you can't convert as much testosterone as your body would normally do into DHT. So now more of that test that was, you know, otherwise would have turned to DHT is stuck as test. So now you have an increased level of test in your system. So if you actually want to see like the actual statistic of this, you can go look at uh, Merck's official brochure for Propecia and it states and I quote, mean circulating levels of testosterone and estradiol were increased by approximately 15%. So estradiol, estradiol is just another word for estrogen. And the reason your estrogen goes up is because your testosterone has gone up. So when you have more testosterone, testosterone aromatizes into estrogen. And, you know, more tests in your system equals more estrogen aromatization and that's a whole nother topic for a whole different video that I should be posting soon about how gyno can be caused by finasteride and the mechanism behind it. And it's not the drug to blame. It's actually a lack of one's awareness of aromatization levels and estrogen levels. But I actually wrote an article about it and that's where this whole thing stemmed from in the first place. But basically what you want to know in regards to your testo testosterone in particular is your test levels are going to go up when you take finasteride, not down. 
So if you have a crash in libido as a result of finasteride, it's the result of androgens going down, not your testosterone going down. It's your DHT going down that's causing the crash. So it's not this drug that's making your libido low. It's your own inhibition of the androgenic hormone that largely influences your own sex drive. So that's why a lot of guys, when they have, you know, like post finasteride syndrome, you just slam them full with some DHT, like Proviron or Mastera on their back up and going really quickly. So anyways, just a quick video for you guys, or I guess uh, somewhat quick, but uh, hope that kind of clarifies some things. And uh, I think it's important to understand how these hormones work when you take a drug instead of just, you know, your doctor's not going to explain this pathway of hormones to you. So it's kind of the onus is on you to understand what's happening in your body so you can, you know, mitigate issues if they are to occur and so you know what to expect and what's actually happening in your body. And when you can look at your blood work, you can, int you can interpret it correctly because that's also something you should be doing on your own, not just leaving it for your general physician who probably knows absolutely nothing about hormones to do for you. So anyways, hope that helped. Hope uh, some of you guys got something out of that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date when I post new videos. Uh, talk to you guys soon.